I went looking for some mushrooms today and I just found a mother load of honey mushrooms. Um, I'm finding them on dead ash trees. Everybody that lives in Pennsylvania knows that all of our ash trees are about dead. Um, and previously I had been finding oyster mushrooms on these dead ash, but uh, now they are just absolutely loaded. Most of them are loaded um, with honey mushrooms. And I just want to take a couple minutes here. I mean, this tree here is, is just packed with it. Um, and show you how you can how you can identify these honey mushrooms. Okay, first off, they grow on wood. And like I said, they're growing on dead ash trees here. Um, you're going to find them in the fall of the year. And the color of them um, is kind of a kind of the color of honey that's how they get their name first defining characteristic of these guys is if you look there's hair hair like looking bristles on the top of them there you can see like those little hairs they just look like little hairs okay that's the first thing Second thing is, now there's ringed and ringless honey mushrooms. These are ringed honey mushrooms. You can see at the top of the stem, there's a ring. Like that one you can see really good. And the ring is gonna be whitish in color. The undersides are gonna be pretty white. They're gonna be real white actually. The gills are white, um, and the way you could tell for sure that they're edible and that they're honey mushrooms, I'm pretty sure these are honey mushrooms, but um, if you cut the cap off and set it on a dark surface for a couple hours overnight or whatever, um, lift it off, the spores are going to fall out of them gills, and the spores will be white. Um, if they're like rusty brown or any other color, you don't want to eat it but like i said honey mushrooms have the the ringed honey mushroom has the white ring at the base white gills um if you check the spores by setting on a dark piece of paper or dark surface for an extended time the, the spores that come out are going to be white they got the hairs on top they grow in clusters they're pretty big robust mushroom and they grow on dead wood. And obviously they get their name from their color. They're kind of the color of honey. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take you around and show you a couple others here. There, there's a pile, a pile of honey mushrooms growing right now in these dead ash trees. I mean this tree here is just loaded with them. Look how it's blowing out the where's my hand there? Look how it's blowing out the bark on that dead ash. You can see the hairs really good on these. Like I said, they get they're a pretty decent sized mushroom. Um, there's some. One thing um, you really only eat the caps. Most people just eat the caps. They don't eat the stems. Um, and they're kind of, in my opinion, like a shiitake. When you uh, if you eat them raw, they're they're really not that great raw. They kind of have a metallic kind of bitterness to them, um, so you got to cook them. But they're they're pretty tender. Um, but like I said, they're not they're not for raw eating. I'll show you a couple more. There's another dead ash, and it's just loaded with these honey mushrooms. Now these here, you can see when they start to like curl over and crack, they're a little too mature. Um, you wanna you wanna pick them a little younger than that. There's some all over that stump there too. This tree is just loaded with them. Now these are on the mature side too. They're actually growing out of the ground. There must be some dead wood under there. They're growing out of 
Um, just like that other tree, they're blowing out underneath the bark of, of these dead ash trees. A few more. These are nice young ones. You can see those hairs on top really good. So yeah, if you're in Pennsylvania, uh, get out there, start checking these dead ash trees. You're probably gonna find more honeys than you're gonna know what to do with.